Hey everyone, this is Bob here at Wirefly, and I am going to do some testing today on the two HTC Evo phones. On the left is the brand new HTC Evo Shift, and on the right is the HTC Evo 4G. The Evo 4G has been out since the summer of 2010, so it's been around a little while. The Evo Shift just came out. Both of these are 4G phones on the Sprint network. And as you can see on the front of the Evo Shift, I have been testing phones here at Wirefly using the Quadrant bench test. And some people have complained that Quadrant is not accurate for all phones. I know for a fact that Quadrant doesn't work with Android 2.3. So both of these are Android 2.2 phones. Quadrant works just fine with them, and I've got interesting scores with them. In fact, the Evo Shift scores higher on a Quadrant test than the uh, Evo 4G does. However, I want to try a new bench testing program that I downloaded from the Android market. It's a free download from the Android market. It's called SmartBench 2010. So I've downloaded SmartBench 2010 on both of these phones and I'm going to go ahead and run it. Now SmartBench 2010 has been touted as being a more accurate uh, bench testing software for a wider variety of phones. So here's what it does on the two Evos. I'm going to go ahead and run it and we'll keep the phone, keep the camera active for the duration of the test and then we'll get the results when this is all done. Again, these are both Android 2.2 phones, the Evo Shift on the left and the Evo 4G on the right. Obviously the Evo 4G has got a much bigger screen than the Evo Shift. It's got a 4.3 inch diagonal screen compared to a 3.6 inch diagonal screen. But the Evo Shift has a slide out keyboard that the Evo 4G does not. So here we see that the SmartBench 2010 is running through its, ben its benchmarks. Uh, it's testing on both of these phones and it's getting pretty close to being done. I'm going to let it go ahead and continue. On the Evo 4G you can see the reflection of my camera there. With all the lights here it's uh, pretty easy to see that reflection. I think this is the last of the tests going on here on the Evo Shift. They call that the jellyfish test. There you go. Now it's going to ask me to display the scores. I'm going to wait for the Evo 4G to catch up and we'll display both scores at the same time. Now this will give two scores for each phone. It gives a productivity score and then it gives a gaming score. And those can vary by quite a bit and we'll see what that is in just a moment. All right, both phones are now done. I'm going to tell it to display the scores. Now the Evo Shift is connected here via our internal Wi-Fi network. The Evo 4G is connected by the Sprint network. However, the connection method, the, the fact that this is on Wi-Fi and the fact that this is on the phone network, has nothing to do with the test. The test does not test the connection speed. It only tests the internals inside the phone, the internal processor and the graphics processor. So it's very hard to see, but right up here, this is saying that the Evo Shift got on the productivity index a score of 620 and on the gaming index got a score of 1056. The Evo 4G for productivity this scored 774 and on the gaming index it got 707. So the Evo Shift scored a little less on productivity but a fair amount more on the gaming index. Here the Evo 4G got a lower score on the gaming index but a higher score as compared to its company mate the Evo Shift. And that is the SmartBench 2010 test here on the Evo Shift and the Evo 4G. I am Bob here at Wirefly. Thanks for watching.